Welcome to this introduction of Oracle Machine Learning for Python. My name is Mark Hornick, Senior Director, Oracle Machine Learning Product Management at Oracle. In this session, we'll start with a brief overview of Python and the Oracle Machine Learning product family, and then focus on features and functionality of Oracle Machine Learning for Python. At Oracle, our mission is to help people see data in new ways, discover insights, and unlock endless possibilities. In case you're new to Python, Python is an interpreted, object-oriented, high-level and general-purpose programming language. It's an open source project designed for rapid application development and scripting to connect existing components together. Python also has a rich set of packages for data exploration, preparation, and machine learning, well over 300,000. As shown here, Python is developed under an OSI-approved open source license, making it freely usable and distributable, even for commercial use. While Python has many benefits, there are also some challenges for working with larger data sets, whether local on disk or from database management systems. This data may be accessed from flat files, or if in a database, requested from IT or DBAs to extract data from enterprise data warehouses. Unfortunately, this may require several iterations, as the full set of data needed is not always known in advance, and it's often beneficial to work with current data. For those users who have access to connectivity packages like CX Oracle, they can access data programmatically directly from its database schema. However, this data must be pulled from the database each time it's worked on in the Python engine. This introduces data latency. That is the time it takes to pull data from a database or from files on disk into the Python engine. It may also require a paradigm shift from using the Python language to using whatever data access language is required by the data source, such as SQL. As an in-memory engine, Python needs to load data into memory before it can be processed. If the data doesn't fit in memory, users need to get creative to sample or partition the data in such a way that it can be processed, usually in chunks. The Python engine and most Python packages are single-threaded and as such have limited performance and scalability, even when using large multiprocessor machines. There are specialized packages to enable parallelism, but these may also require additional programming and algorithm redesign. Whenever there are separate processing engines involving data extraction and production deployment, solution engineers need to consider project backup, recovery, and security needs. These can be significant challenges for enterprises leveraging pure open source or third-party software. In addition, production deployment code enabling integration with enterprise applications or dashboards may need to be developed for each data science project, possibly involving cron jobs to start up Python engines for processing. As you'll hear, Oracle Machine Learning addresses these issues. So let's touch briefly on the broader Oracle Machine Learning product family that supports data science projects. Oracle Machine Learning provides interfaces for three popular languages, SQL, R, and our focus here, Python. For interaction with autonomous database, we provide OML notebooks based on Apache Zeppelin with SQL and Python interpreters. Oracle Data Miner is a SQL developer extension that enables users to create, schedule, and deploy analytical workflows through a drag and drop user interface that's compatible with on-premises and database cloud service databases. Oracle Machine Learning for Spark provides machine learning in the big data environment with native scalable algorithms, as well as Spark ML lib algorithms included in the same framework. Oracle Machine Learning AutoML UI is a no-code user interface that automates model building, selection, and deployment. And Oracle Machine Learning Services is a REST-based service for model deployment and management, along with cognitive text. On Autonomous Database, Python users access OML for Pi via OML Notebooks, which provides a collaborative user interface based on Apache Zeppelin technology, further extending Autonomous Database as a data science platform. Data scientists, analysts, developers, and DBAs can use both SQL and Python in the same notebook using the most appropriate language for the problem at hand. They can also view notebook changes by team members in real time interactively. These same data science team members can explicitly share notebooks and templates. Users can version notebooks as well as schedule them to run at a set time or on a repeating schedule. 
By virtue of being included in autonomous database, machine learning functionality is automatically provisioned and managed. Through OML notebooks, Users have access to the in-database algorithms and analytics functions to explore and prepare data, build and evaluate models, score data, and deploy solutions. So now let's focus on OML for Pi. Oracle Machine Learning for Python leverages the database as a high-performance computing environment, manipulating database tables and views through Pandas data frame proxy objects with overloaded functionality that's translated to SQL transparently behind the scenes. This enables exploring, transforming, and analyzing data faster and at scale by keeping data in the database, while allowing the use of familiar Python syntax to manipulate database data. The in-database parallelized machine learning algorithms are exposed through a natural Python interface. With OML for Pi, users can build more models on more data and score large volume data faster, taking advantage of Oracle Autonomous Database optimizations including Autoscale. Data scientists benefit from automatic data preparation, partitioned model ensembles, and integrated text mining. This can result in increased productivity for data scientists, while at the same time, the powerful in-database algorithms are made more accessible to non-expert users. Data scientists and other users can create user-defined Python functions and manage these as scripts in the database. Python objects can also be stored in the database, as opposed to being managed in flat files. These features also facilitate collaboration across the data science team, enabling convenient handoff for data science work products from data scientists to application developers for immediate deployment. Moreover, these user-defined functions can be run in a data parallel or task parallel manner, for example, to enable scoring native Python models at scale. Results from these user-defined functions can contain both structured and image results and be accessed from Python and REST APIs. OML for Pi also supports automatic machine learning, or AutoML, which not only enhances data scientist productivity, but also enables non-experts to use and benefit from machine learning. AutoML can help produce more accurate models faster through automatic algorithm and feature selection and model tuning and selection. In addition, Model Explainability, or MLX, provides model agnostic identification of important features impacting model predictions. AutoML and MLX are core technologies developed by Oracle Labs. The OML for Pi transparency layer provides the foundation for leveraging in-database performance. Using proxy objects and overloaded functions, users can take advantage of database column indexes query optimization, parallelism, and table-level partitioning, which can greatly improve performance on database table operations. Here we see how we can create a table from a pandas data frame using OML create, specifying the table name we wish to use, in this case, Boston. If the table already exists in a database, we can use the function OML sync and specify the table name we wish to retrieve. This returns a proxy object that we can then use to invoke familiar pandas functions like shape, head, and describe, and even take advantage of Python syntax for splitting data into train and test sets. These overloaded functions, in effect, translate desired functionality to SQL for in-database processing. Let's consider an example involving the overloaded crosstab function for in-database scalable aggregation. We first get our proxy object to a table called onTimeS and then ask to count the distinct values in the destination column. This request effectively gets translated into a SQL query with a group by clause on the dest column. Running this function, we see the result type is an OML data frame object. When we invoke the head function, we retrieve the first few rows of the result. Note that results may be large themselves, so rather than pulling the entire result to the client, requiring both time and memory, the result remains in the database with a proxy object returned for subsequent use. In its first release, OML for Pi provides these overloaded functions that operate on OML data frame proxy objects. As you can see, many powerful functions are available. For example, describe for data summarization, merge to join data, 
and mean, median, kurtosis, and correlations, among others, for statistical functions. For machine learning algorithms, oml for pi provides a natural Python API to the in-database algorithms listed here, supporting classification, regression, clustering, attribute importance, anomaly detection, association rules, and feature extraction. The in-database algorithms natively support automatic data preparation, partitioned model ensembles, and integrated text mining. Users can extend this set of algorithms with those provided, for example, in Python scikit-learn. In-database models produced through the Python API can also be accessed using the SQL API. In this example, we illustrate using the in-database support vector machine algorithm. After importing SVM from the OML package and getting our proxy object, we specify the desired outlier rate in the dictionary variable settings. In the SVM function, we specify that we want to do anomaly detection and use a linear kernel. Then we pass the settings. Anomaly detection uses the special one-class SVM algorithm, and the outlier rate indicates our selectivity for anomaly detection. We then invoke the fit function to train the model and view the model details by displaying the result object. The data store allows users to save Python objects, including OML for Pi proxy objects, in the database as a named entity and load them back into Python memory across Python and database sessions. Normally, with Python objects, when your engine shuts down, all the objects in memory are lost, unless they've been saved, normally in a flat file. oml for pi mimics this behavior for proxy objects, such as those of temporary tables, views, and default named model objects. For example, if you build an in-database model but haven't saved it in a data store, that in-database model will automatically be deleted when your oml for pi session ends. This mimics the typical Python engine behavior for Python objects. Data stores are also necessary for passing non-scalar arguments like Python machine learning model objects to Python functions for use in embedded Python execution, especially for the REST API. A data store can contain one or more Python objects, making it very convenient for passing data into user-defined functions. Save and load are the two main functions for saving to and loading objects from a database data store. Embedded Python execution facilitates production deployment of user-defined Python functions. Here we show using the Python API for running a user-defined Python function in parallel that builds a scikit-learn linear model and returns that model. In this example, our goal is to build one model for each species in the IRIS dataset. Using the group apply function, it takes a proxy object, in this case, the iris proxy object, and the index column we wish to partition the data on, in this case, the species column. We pass in the user-defined function and the number of Python engines we want to spawn to run this function. There are several variations on how embedded execution can be used, and this example just scratches the surface. For example, user-defined functions can be stored by name in the Python script repository in the database. This same name is used when invoking such functions through the REST API or granting access privileges to other users. oml for pi on autonomous database also offers a REST interface for invoking embedded Python execution functions. Here are some of the REST endpoints for invoking user-defined Python functions stored in the script repository. In this example, which is invoked synchronously from curl, we use the doEval operation on a user-defined function called random red dots. Asynchronous invocation of REST endpoints is also supported. Next, we'll discuss automated machine learning, or AutoML. Our objectives for OML for Pi AutoML are to eliminate repetitive tasks such as model building and evaluation through automation with the goal to increase user productivity for both expert data scientists and non-experts. AutoML applies machine learning to the machine learning process itself using what we call meta-learning to automatically zero in on the right algorithm features and algorithm settings necessary to build high quality models without resorting to exhaustive search. Such automation helps to make machine learning more accessible to a broader audience while reducing the compute time and cost required to get the desired result. Let's take a closer look at automated machine learning in OML for Pi. As we noted, AutoML increases data scientist productivity. 
while reducing overall compute time, and it enables non-expert Python users to leverage machine learning in part because they don't need to be experts in the modeling process, the range of algorithms with their data preparation requirements, or understand each algorithm's hyperparameters. OML for Pi's AutoML consists largely of three steps. With automated algorithm selection, the goal is to identify the in-database algorithms likely to achieve the highest model quality. Using meta-learning, AutoML leverages machine learning itself to help find the best algorithm faster than with exhaustive search. With automated feature selection, the goal is to denoise data by eliminating features that don't add value to the model. By identifying the most predictive features and eliminating noise, model accuracy can often be significantly improved with the side benefit of faster model building and scoring. Automated model tuning tunes algorithm hyperparameters and can significantly improve accuracy while avoiding manual or exhaustive search techniques, which can be costly both in terms of time and compute resources. So in summary, OML for Pi provides Python access to Oracle machine learning in both Oracle Autonomous Database and Oracle Database. Python users can explore, prepare, and analyze data and build, evaluate, and deploy machine learning models. Through integrated automation features, data scientists see greater productivity and non-expert users have access to powerful in-database machine learning. OML for Pi extends Python for enterprise use by leveraging the performance and scalability of Oracle Autonomous Database and Oracle Database for enterprise scale data sets, but also by providing a platform for application integration with simplified production deployment of data science solutions. To learn more about Oracle Machine Learning, check out the Live Labs where you can quickly spin up an autonomous database and work through various use cases and scenarios using OML technology. Included with OML notebooks on autonomous database are examples for our SQL and Python interfaces. A wider range of examples are included at the Machine Learning GitHub repository. This includes notebooks, but also scripts for use with OML for R as well. Through our OML office hours, we have a rich library of recorded sessions, including product demonstrations, use cases, and application integrations. Sign up to receive notifications of new sessions today.